www.apcomputer.com in this first lesson in our series on AP Computer Science. In this lesson, I'll be talking about the AP Computer Science exam and I'll also be giving a preview of the types of material that we'll be covering in this course. In today's lesson, we'll first be covering some facts about the AP Computer Science exam. We'll talk about the format of the exam questions. We'll talk about the AP Java subset, which is the subset of the complete Java programming language that you need to be aware of and understand for the AP exam. And then at the end, I'll give some tips for taking the exam. Before we go to the next slide, I want to bring up the Java editor that I'll be using uh, throughout this class. In many of the lessons, we will be compiling and running actual Java code within the course. And I'm going to be using the Eclipse Java Integrated Development Environment. And I wanted to make you aware that this is software that you can download for free. Just do a search on Eclipse IDE for Java. And you can download and install that for free on your computer at home and follow along with all of the examples that we do here in class. We'll take a closer look at this later in the lesson, but I wanted to bring this up and explain that at the start. The AP Computer Science exam, like all AP exams, is administered annually in May, and it tests knowledge that's considered equivalent to a freshman level college computer science course. And like other AP exams, your final score is on a scale of one to five. Five being extremely well qualified, and then the score is going down to one, and one is indicating no recommendation. Many colleges and universities award college credit for a high score on the AP exam. Generally, you're going to need to get either five or four to get college credit. Some colleges or universities may give credit for a three as well. And this course is designed to prepare you for the AP computer science exam. There are two sections on the AP exam. You have a total of three hours to do both sections of the exam. Section one is 40 multiple choice questions, and you have an hour and 15 minutes to complete those. Then you'll get a short break between the sections, and section two is four free response questions, which some people refer to as essay questions. And you have an hour and 45 minutes to complete those questions. All questions in both sections are based on a subset of the Java programming language. So even if you know other programming languages, you must know the Java programming language to do well on the exam. All of your answers in the free response section must be written in Java or you will not get credit for them. Now, all questions are going to be answered on paper. Even though Java is a programming language, you're not actually going to write any code on a computer during the test. It's a paper-based test only. Um, the multiple choice questions are going to be machine scored, so you'll need a number two pencil to fill in the bubbles for those answers. And then you have free response questions are scored by human readers, meaning there are computer science teachers who are going to read the free response answers and determine from just reading your code whether your code appears to be correct or not. Your code is not compiled or run to see if it is correct or not. So your job is to convince a human reader that your code is correct.